In this video, I'm excited to talk about the AWS Security Hub functionality that allows customers to customize security controls by making use of control parameters. Security Hub is a cloud security posture management service with hundreds of managed and automated controls that allow you to monitor your cloud resources, helping you maintain a secure configuration. The feature we are discussing today allows security teams to fine-tune the best practices monitored by Security Hub controls to cater specifically to your security requirements. With this feature, you gain the power to tweak specific parameters or attributes within select Security Hub controls without forfeiting any of the advantages of utilizing managed controls. Following parameter updates, Security Hub will generate a new, more pertinent evaluation. By leveraging and customizing managed controls within Security Hub, you effectively eliminate the repetitive and error-prone work involved in crafting custom controls for this purpose. Customization is facilitated through control parameters, akin to functions operating within your environment. You furnish Security Hub with parameters you wish to monitor, and in turn, Security Hub adjusts its evaluation results to be in alignment with those parameters. For controls supporting this feature, you have the choice between recommended settings curated by our security experts or providing custom values to align with your organization's security policies. When opting for a custom value, Security Hub validates it to ensure the monitored security best practices fall within an acceptable range to still provide value for the control. For instance, let's consider the minimum password length parameter for the password policies for IAM control. We ensure that the value provided to Security Hub doesn't render the control ineffective. For example, setting a minimum password length of 2 would defeat the purpose of the control. At the time of this recording, Security Hub extends customization capabilities in more than 30 controls, enabling customers to more granularly decide what criteria that these controls actually check for. For example, the EC2 Security Group control checks whether a security group allows unrestricted inbound access for specific ports. The IAM password policy control evaluates whether the account password policy for IAM users uses strong configurations. Through control parameters, each of these controls can be adjusted to establish more granular expectations regarding risky ports or strong password policies. I'll be demonstrating how to modify the control parameters for each of these controls in the upcoming demo. You have the flexibility to configure control parameters either within a single account or Utilize the central configuration capability in Security Hub to configure control parameters across all accounts within your organization. For organizations with multiple accounts, AWS recommends utilizing Security Hub with a delegated administrator account to leverage the central configuration capability. This centralization not only streamlines your custom control parameters, but also aggregates findings from across various accounts and regions into Security Hub, offering a centralized view of all your findings. With centralized configuration, you can standardize parameter values across all your accounts or tailor them differently based on individual account security requirements. Now, let's explore the process of customizing security controls using the centralized configuration capability in Security Hub. Imagine you need to adjust the minimum password length in the password policy control and the list of authorized ports in the security group control across all finance accounts in your organization. In my organization, I have already established a finance policy that applies to all accounts within the finance organizational unit. This setup allows for flexibility to configure control parameters within this policy that are specifically tailored to accounts within the finance organizational unit. From the Security Hub console with the Delegated Administrator account, navigate to Configuration under Settings in the left-hand menu. Then select Policies tab. Select the Finance Policy, and then click Edit. Within the Custom Policy options, you'll find Customize Control Parameters. Enable this option to reveal Select a Control. Here you can search for and select the desired control. Let's begin by selecting the Security Group should only allow unrestricted incoming traffic for authorized ports control from the Select a Control list. Upon selection, you'll typically see a list of parameters supported by the control, which for this control is list of authorized UDP ports and list of authorized TCP ports. Let's customize these values according to your requirements. For instance, let's disallow UDP ports and remove port 80 to restrict TCP ports to 443 only. Upon modification, a customized label will appear. 
indicating deviation from the recommended value. When clicking this label, it provides you the option to remove the customization and revert to the recommended value if needed. Next, let's tackle the password policies for IAM users should have strong configurations control. Similarly, search for and select this control. Here, you have the opportunity to adjust parameters such as specific characters, password rotation frequency, minimum length, and expiration duration. Let's change the minimum number of characters in a password length from 8 to 14 characters, aligning it with finance department organizational requirements. Again, a customized label will signify the deviation from the default recommended value, and you retain the option to revert if necessary. You can customize as many additional controls as needed within the policy. You can then move forward by selecting Next. After review, save the changes. Verify the updated values on the Review and Apply page. Then select the Save Policy and Apply button. You will then be returned to the Security Hub Settings Configuration page and should see a status displayed at the top of the page of Successfully Edited Organization Configuration. Note, it may take some time for this change to propagate across all your associated organizational units, accounts, and regions. In this instance, it will be propagating across all accounts in the Finance Organizational Unit and all linked regions within those accounts. Clicking on the policy, you will see on the right-hand sidebar that the policy now shows the controls that have been customized. And clicking on each of these controls will show you the custom value that you have chosen. In this video, we explored how customers can utilize control parameters to customize Security Hub controls, refining their checks for a more customized evaluation. Whether in a centralized or standalone Security Hub configuration, these customization options offer you flexibility and enhanced configuration of your Security Hub security controls.